Monaco and Lance Swans away this year. And uh, today is going to be a match preview against Cambridge United in the Carabao Cup uh, second round. Of course, this is going to be played tomorrow night, Wednesday, quarter to a kick-off. Um, it's a bit annoying that we're not playing today because we could have been given an extra day's rest ahead of Leeds. But it'll be a fully changed side anyway, so I expect us to be um, still competitive in this game. Obviously, Cambridge are in League 2 now, and I uh, think they lost on the weekend, their first loss of the season. And in the last uh, game of the Carabao Cup, they beat Brentford on penalties. They drew one all at Griffin Park. They obviously beat them in penalties. So that's a good result for them. So it won't be an easy game down the Liberty Stadium. Um, they like a cup upset, obviously. They beat Brentford, like I've said. Um, so I expect them to travel well. Uh, they'll bring a few fans down, a few hundred maybe. So fetch safe travels to them. But overall, I think we should win this game. Uh, our home form is very good at the Liberty Stadium this season. And last season, of course. Um, I'm expecting a similar team to Northampton, basically. Uh, I wouldn't re I wouldn't play the likes of Andre, Boha, Baston, Burst and Selena because I don't think there's any need to. You could potentially have them on the bench if we're struggling, but I just think Leeds is the big game we should be uh, focusing on, not Cambridge. Don't get me wrong, I'd love a cup run with the Swans, but... Uh, the position we're in, second, um, we're probably going to focus on Leeds more. But I, anyway, I still think um, we should beat Cambridge, and this is the team I'll go for. In goal, I'm going to look for Christopher Nordfeld, obviously the second choice keeper, so um, he's not going to play Mulder, is he? Um, right back, I'm going to go for Cal Norton, came on on the weekend as, as in the left back position for Jake Bidwell and scored, so I think he'll play two centre halves, then Ben Cabango and Ben Wilmot. Um, both of these very good players, both youngish players. Benga Bango is really good. Uh, ben Wilmot, uh, really like gaming. He's very active on social media, even if he doesn't play. Left back end, Declan John played well against Northampton in fairness, and uh, been unlucky not to get a chance in the team. Um, but uh, let's see if he can prove himself again. Two centre mids, then I'll go for George Byers. Um, probably one of the most experienced centre mids. Now I'm saying something considering how young he is. Uh, came on on the weekend, did okay. Um, so I'd play him with Jan Danda, who's very impressive against uh, Birmingham. Very impressive, I must say. I, I was, uh, wasn't was that happy that he was starting before the game, but uh, i got to say he really impressed me, to be fair. And then uh, in the central attack in midfield position, I'm going to go for Barry Mackay. I just think Mackay deserves another chance. He was really good in pre-season. Against Northampton, he was really poor. But I just don't think we can judge Barry Mackay in that game. I think we d he does deserve a shot. Um, obviously he's very inconsistent as everybody knows but I, I think everybody's got a role in this team and i just like to see Barry have a chance on the left wing position and I go for Christopher Peterson he's still yet to really hit form in the English league uh, in the championship but uh, he's still got time he's still got time to develop obviously he costs us about £500,000 so it's quite a biggish quite smallish fee if you know what I mean well we've actually bought someone so there's obviously potential there and I like to see him being given a chance on the right hand side of the midfield I'll go for Wayne Routledge uh, obviously he hasn't got that much game time this season due to injuries and just due to the form of the likes of Nathan Dyer and Andre Ayew uh, but up front then I'm going to go for Sam Savage uh, scored his first goal for the Swans against QPR away it was a good, good end a good work by Andre Ayew but I think that team should do the business against Cambridge. Obviously, I'm not quite sure if they're going to go for a full-strength team or a few changes. I assume they're going to go a few changes. Obviously, they've got a weekend game. Um, but going on to my score prediction, I'm going to go for Swansea City 2, Cambridge United 0. And for the goals, I'm going to go for I'm going to go with Barry Mackay and I'm going to go with Jan Danda. So that's my prediction. Make sure you leave yours in the comment section down below. The people who got the score prediction right against Birmingham, they'll be on the screen now. Well done. I, I nearly had it right. I said 4-0, but it was 3-0. So congratulations to any of you who got that right. And like I said in the last section of this video, make sure you comment down below. Um, if it's a, you, you, you don't have to say who wins on pens. If, if, you, if you say one all, that counts. You don't have to say who wins on pens, but you can if you want. So uh, well done again, the score prediction right. Cambridge are 11th in the table of 8 points. Uh, it's a pretty average start in fairness. They lost their first game of the weekend to Oldham Athletic, 2-1 at home. So they're obviously not the strongest of sides, but obviously can still cause a cup upset. Um, against Brentford, of course, I think they made a few changes, but I think Brentford just um, lacked their finishing in fairness. I think Brentford should have eased the victory. I think Cambridge got like a 37-year-old striker, remembering the uh, watching Quest TV in the Carabao Cup. 
action. I think they've got like a 37 year old striker. I think they've got a few pacey wingers. So obviously they'll be a threat to us. But I just think our squad will be too strong for them. So a uh, safe trip down to the Cambridge fans. And let's hope it's a very good game. It's a shame that I couldn't get a Cambridge vlogger on. But um, unfortunately due to circumstances it didn't really work out. But um, I'll try to get one on for... Well I, I can guarantee I've got one on for Leeds. Which is the most important thing. So uh, safe tuning down to all Cambridge fans. Not really do much to do with the match preview, but I just want to thank you all for nearly hitting 1,000 subscribers. I know everyone says this in their videos, um, oh, it means a world, I never mind. But generally, I met, I didn't think you'd get this far. It started in like April. Obviously, I used to do stuff with Carwin now. I'm fine with him now. Uh, and then um, big thanks to Connor Moore Vlogs, if any of you know Connor Moore. He told me to make my own channel, so I made my own channel and I enjoyed it. So thanks, Connor, for the inspiration. Um, but uh, it's just been a really good journey in fairness a couple of months and I've nearly hit 1000 um, hopefully I can start improving the camera and settings but it'll take time but just thank you for watching the videos Like, um, make sure you leave a like as well but the last couple of vlogs have been class I think most of my vlogs are on 1k, 2k, 3k views that's really good so I just, just thank you for uh, all the support basically means a lot and uh, for the people who recognize me just come and ask for a score prediction so i really don't mind but um vlogging is not easy as everyone knows holding a camera people give you looks but i don't care because i just like doing it and just showing people because i know a few people who can't get the games and they like watching my vlogs so um thanks for that um what else am i gonna say yeah make sure you uh make sure you just subscribe i think time of this i'm looking up there because i got my thing um Three subscribers off 1,000, so I imagine I'll hit it before Cambridge, which is absolutely insane. So thank you everyone for that. Never last, you know, from me, I'll never really do it, but make sure you follow my socials. Um, Facebook, Reese Bish, Instagram, Instagram Reese underscore SCFC, Snapchat, Reese Bish 28T, Twitter, SCFC, all in capitals, underscore Reese with the capital R, and, uh, Add me on Xbox if you want to talk or something. Swan the way it is. So make sure you follow my socials. They'll be down below as well. Hopefully every video. So make sure you go and smash the fo follow and add me on all there. So you can see what happens outside of YouTube. That's the last thing for me. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for all the support. Uh, make sure you leave your comments down below. The score prediction for Cambridge United. Thanks for all the support. And uh, the vlog will be out Wednesday night. So I'll see you guys next time. Come on the Swans.